Try again when you have some key energy. is getting colorful again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice. Metal scrap. You can always use that. This one seems to be in good spirits, despite being left here for dead. Has heard that you only follow your own personal code and is worried you've lost your respect for life. Asks you to do the right thing for the sake of your conscience. It's only through your inner conflict you're held accountable for your actions. Some. Seems happy, but surprised you chose to turn this disaster into a blessing. The light shines on! Better isn't the word I would use. Right, not better. Best! You're the worst! The worst of being the worst! But just the best! The day is dawning. For a beastie, this mount is so gentle. There it is, the tree of life. The idea that all life is related by common descent where the twigs are existing species, and those produced in the past represent the succession of the extinct. The tree's great branches were once budding twigs, a connection between the past, present, and future, a representation of all extinct and living species with its ever-branching and beautiful ramifications. We are an evolution of those that came before.
You can't really understand your story till it's done. Let's see. It's a place well hidden. It's just below the above. Out of dates impressed you made it this far, but there's still so much left to do. The end of the world is still on everyone's minds. You've beaten a path where you have the power to destroy or save everyone. Question is, what you'll do with that responsibility? He worries about you. If you love yourself, you don't hurt others. But the more you hate yourself, the more you want others to suffer. You Thinks it's important that you remember who you are and where you came from. Someone without knowledge of their history and origin is like a tree without roots. Vunko Vuntu. What do you think his are? He's the one that's called out of date, remember? Out of date says there's a time for everything. And now there's no use thinking of the past, for it's gone. Think of the present because that's where you are. It's time to set your priorities as the one who completes things. He's worried that you're putting the world at risk. But darkness isn't necessarily the end of the world. It's just another perspective. If the world really does end, there won't be anywhere to run. So he's prepared for the worst, something he calls the Ark. He hopes you're right. He gets that you mean the journey continues either way, but personally he wants the tree to survive. Out of date says there's no clear record of the chain of events that changed the course of history and brought the world to its knees. He's found evidence on the Ark. Records of a crisis, decades of contamination that permeated the ground and broke its inner core. The contamination disrupted what we now know as key energy, the life force that runs through all things, living and inanimate. He's been told the blight affected everything at a genetic level and turned our perception of normality on its head. It was only those that changed that avoided extinction, proving that the possibility for survival and renewal was real. He understands you are curious about the ship at the foot of the tree. He says it surfaced when the oil broke through the ground. The Ark predates the back-in days, and now, after years of study of the manuals he found inside, he believes he's figured the ship out. The Ark has room for four more and he trusts you'll apply wisdom to your compassion and choose whom to save if the world comes to end. He'll keep the seats open and you are free to invite up to four others to join you in the Ark in the event of a cataclysm.
Mpa, wherefore, where Papa Mofo back. Out of date says that from what he's heard, you've been busy. He says he appreciates what you've done so far, but unfortunately he's got urgent news from his friend Goop in the southeast. Out of date says that even though he's unsure about your intentions, he hopes you'll support Goop. He says he'll point you in the right direction, but finding Goop and making sure he gets what he needs is up to you. That's the sound of impending doom. Out of date's premonitions of imminent disaster are true. The porky puff needs to be handled. Out of date says that Goop is worried now that the Southeast World Eater is stepping up its activity. He explains that Goop is working on a goo gliding vessel in order to get to the World Eater, but needs help to get it done. Out of date suggests that you should head southeast as fast as possible and see what you can do to help. He wonders what's on your mind. So, says you covered the important things already. You're good. That there's Subnautica Station. Goop flounders around in there. Better get a move on if you want to change things. Let's see. Gulpo ain't the easiest tongue, but I think he says he's happy to see a friendly face. Not too many of those around these days. Says it's good to see you again. He's Goop, 
You might remember him from the old days when he tried to teach you how to swim. Goop says you were always so righteous as a child, and he can still feel it, even at a distance. Goop says memories fade surprisingly fast. We are all pieces of what we remember. It's only together we can remember the story as it was. He knows he's easy to remember. There's no one out there as cuckoo as him. He's one of a kind. Goop says our memory keeps things for us and protects them until we are ready to face them again. He understands you've returned to face Lupa Lupin. That's the destiny you've been carrying within yourself all these years. He says that the catastrophe back then didn't vanquish the good in you. It's still there, as bright as when you were a child. Now the time has come for you to remember and act. Your life is your life, not the story you're told about it. He thinks that's the right thing to do. It's only when you have forgiven that you'll find peace. Come toward the light. Slow down. Why would you rush in? When you see what you want, why wait? Well, what about being careful? Pah! Poppycock! Full speed ahead! Says life on the goo is wide open. You have so many choices of where to go. Some harder than others, of course. Which kind do you like? Hit the open surf, then. The trouble is you can only rely on yourself, at least until you reach a new shore and make new friends. Can hardly believe the world is going to make it. Wonders what that's going to do to the goo. Thanks you for doing everything you could to de-goop the surf. Thinks the Myriad made a good match with you. You're both like sunshine on the surf. Claims he didn't say that. Out loud. But hey, back to the goo. Knows yesterday is already gone. It's what you do today and tomorrow that'll move you forward. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Subnautica station, as the pollution has worn down the insulation of his suit so you must salvage enough scrap to fix up his goo glide, starting with the old wreck box outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the goo glide strong enough to fight the Porky Puff. It's not that it won't keep your head above the surface, but it needs improving to carry you across the thick goo out by the porky puff. Night gives you relief from the day. Hmm, it's a decent ladder.
just a few moves left. Make them count. Everything seems to take longer at night. Just a few moves left. Make them count. The rain's making it slick out.
Coxonol's offshore drilling caused oily matter to spread with the rain and contaminate both the groundwater and open surf. The long-lasting effect this had on the evolution of wildlife was, as we know now, the only reason we came to exist. You need to line up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Just when you think it's darkest, the dawn. Wonder what you could make with that. He's got the goo glide functional. You will have a pull hook and a salvage net, but no armor and an engine strong enough to break through the thick goo further out. There's debris floating around on the surf that might be blocking your path or needs to be towed. That means you'll need a device so you can get it out of your way. Goop says Gizmo's devised a cannon for the Goo Glide, but instead of bullets, it flips quacks, squeaky distractions for the triple attentive Porky Puff, which will give you time to get yourself in position. The best way to find quacks is to talk to Gulp. He has the bearings of the Surfipelago and knows where the quacks like to float. This means you'll have the privilege of visiting Gulp in the Sinky Dink. He'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find quacks. He only knows what's visible to the naked eye. Gulp is not much of a babbler and mostly keeps to himself and his drink. Breathe in that day shine. 